Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Watches are a staple in our everyday lives, often worn more for fashion than function. Yet inside these little devices lies a remarkable feat of engineering that dates back centuries. Among the various types of watches, mechanical watches hold a special place due to their craftsmanship and the way they tell time without ever needing a battery. While quartz watches rely on electrical power, mechanical watches are powered by something far simpler yet intricately designed the energy stored in a wound-up spring. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the fascinating world of mechanical watches. We'll explore how they work, the parts that make them tick, literally, and why they continue to captivate watch enthusiasts worldwide. At the heart of every mechanical watch is an elegant but simple concept. Harnessing potential energy from a coiled spring and regulating it in such a way that time is kept accurately. The watch's movement, often referred to as the caliber, is entirely mechanical, relying on gears, springs, and levers, all of which work together to turn stored energy into motion. This mechanism eliminates the need for a battery. The core of the mechanical watch's power source is the mainspring. The mainspring is a tightly wound strip of metal housed in a barrel. When you wind a mechanical watch, either manually by turning the crown or automatically through a rotor in self-winding watches, you tighten the mainspring. This creates stored potential energy. The mainspring slowly unwinds over time, releasing this energy in a controlled manner. This is the energy that drives the watch's gears and keeps it ticking. Now, while the mainspring provides energy, this energy must be released in a precise, regulated manner to ensure the watch keeps accurate time. This is where the escapement mechanism comes into play. The escapement is often called the heart of the mechanical watch as it ensures that the energy from the mainspring is transferred to the gear train at regular intervals. Think of the escapement as the component responsible for converting the continuous energy from the mainspring into the discrete periodic ticks we associate with a mechanical watch. The escapement consists of two primary components, the escape wheel and the pallet fork. The escape wheel is part of the gear train, which transfers the energy from the mainspring to the hands of the watch. The pallet fork interacts with the escape wheel, controlling how quickly it moves and releasing energy in carefully timed bursts. As the escape wheel advances, the pallet fork rocks back and forth, creating the familiar ticking sound. But how does the pallet fork know when to release the escape wheel? This leads us to another crucial part of the mechanism, the balance wheel. The balance wheel is essentially the timekeeping element of the mechanical watch. It functions much like a pendulum in a traditional clock, oscillating back and forth at a constant rate. Attached to the balance wheel is a tiny coiled spring known as the hairspring, which plays a vital role in the watch's ability to keep accurate time. When the mainspring releases energy into the gear train, some of it is transferred to the balance wheel via the escapement. The balance wheel oscillates, or swings, at a fixed frequency determined by the tension in the hairspring. As the balance wheel swings back and forth, it interacts with the pallet fork, which in turn regulates the movement of the escape wheel. This interplay between the balance wheel, pallet fork, and escape wheel is what controls the release of energy from the mainspring in a steady rhythmic fashion. The consistency of the balance wheel's oscillations is what makes it possible for a mechanical watch to keep time. In fact, Many high-end mechanical watches have balance wheels that oscillate at frequencies of 21,600 or 28,800 beats per hour, which translates to six or eight ticks per second. This is why you'll notice that the second hand of a mechanical watch has a much smoother motion compared to a quartz watch, which typically ticks once per second. 
So far, we've discussed how energy is stored in the mainspring and how the escapement and balance wheel regulate that energy. But how does this translate into the hands of the watch moving to display the time? This is where the gear train comes in. The gear train is a series of gears that transmits the energy from the mainspring through the escapement to the watch hands. The gear ratios in the gear train are carefully designed so that the hands move at the correct speed. For instance, the gear attached to the seconds hand rotates once every 60 seconds, while the minute hand advances one position for every full rotation of the seconds hand. Similarly, the hour hand moves at 1 12th the speed of the minute hand. The gear train is precisely engineered to ensure that these movements are synchronized, allowing the watch to keep accurate time. The hands of a mechanical watch, therefore, are not directly driven by the balance wheel or escapement. Instead, they are moved by the gears that transmit energy from the mainspring. As long as the mainspring has energy stored within it, the watch will continue to tick and the hands will continue to move. There are two primary types of mechanical watches, manual and automatic. The main difference lies in how the mainspring is wound. In a manual mechanical watch, you need to regularly wind the watch by turning the crown, which tightens the mainspring. This needs to be done every day or every couple of days, depending on the watch's power reserve. The power reserve is the amount of time a fully wound mainspring can power the watch before it runs out of energy. On the other hand, automatic watches are self-winding. They have an additional component called a rotor, which is a weighted piece of metal that swings as you move your wrist. The motion of the rotor winds the mainspring automatically, so you don't have to manually wind the watch every day. As long as you wear the watch regularly, it will keep running without any manual intervention. However, even automatic watches may need to be manually wound if they are left unworn for an extended period. That's because the rotor relies on motion to wind the mainspring. And if the watch remains stationary, it will eventually stop ticking. But once wound again, the watch will pick up right where it left off. Mechanical watches are truly a marvel of engineering. Despite their age-old design, they continue to fascinate and inspire due to the intricate dance of gears, springs, and escapements working in perfect harmony. Without any need for batteries, these watches keep ticking as long as they have a source of energy from the wound mainspring. Whether you prefer the traditional elegance of a manual watch or the convenience of an automatic, there's no denying the craftsmanship and ingenuity that goes into every mechanical timepiece. So next time you look at a mechanical watch, remember that it's more than just a tool for telling time. It's a masterpiece of mechanical art powered entirely by human ingenuity and a few simple yet brilliantly designed components. That's how a mechanical watch works without a battery. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.